So now we're going to look at how do we draw a figure from a set of raw data as we see up here in a table. Now uh, we're always when we're drawing a figure we're comparing at least two sets of data or information. Now when we look at this data most probably the most appropriate thing to graph would be the movement time with the index of difficulty. So the question is how do we graph these two things when they're so far apart here. Now we could cut them and paste them and put them next to each other down here somewhere or another simple method is just highlighting one column. Notice when I highlight the column I'm not including the heading so I've just highlighted the numbers from that 5 all the way down to that 4. Then I press control so I've highlighted it then I press control holding it on I highlight my second column and then remove my finger. So I've, now I've got both different columns highlighted at once. Now when they're highlighted all I need to go up here is to insert and scatter. Now I could insert any one of these different types of plots or graphs but a scatter plot is probably the most appropriate for this type of data. Now if once you've done that your figure does not look like this chances are that you've press control the at the wrong time. So you've either press control prior to highlighting the first column or you've you've pressed control and highlighted them both at the same time. So it's important to highlight one, then press control, holding it on, highlight your second column and you should end up with a figure looking something like this. So the next thing we need to do is add a trend line. So in order to add a trend line all I need to do is right click my mouse on any one of the data points and hit add trend line. Once I've gone to add trend line it'll bring up a list of options of different kinds of trend lines. Now in most cases we just use our linear or our straight line. So once that's highlighted we go down to press close and now we see a straight line uh, running across our figure. Now the next thing we could do is just clean up this uh, figure a little bit. So in order to do that we've got a, a lot of information on here that we don't necessarily need. And with a figure, less is more. So nice and small little little uh, you know data points. Uh, we don't necessarily need this legend on the side. So all I need to do is just highlight it and press delete on my keyboard, and that'll remove that. Same with the background lines. Not not really necessary. We may like it, but if you if you don't like it, all you need to do is just highlight it, and then again press delete. And each one of these things will just remove uh, that background. So notice here it's just a lot more cleaner, a lot fresher, there's not a lot of clutter going on inside this figure. The next thing we could do is, uh, we need to do, is to add our axis labels or axis headings. Because notice here it's got 1 through 6, but I'm not sure what that's referring to. And that same here, we've got 0 right up to 1400, but what, what are we talking about there? So in order to label this, we need to know where these come from. So the 1 through 6, right, we can see the actual is a 1 in line with the 1 there, and it only goes up to 5 here, so there's nothing on a 6. So the bottom represents our index of difficulty, which came from this column right here. And up the side, this 0 to 1400, that's coming from our movement time, which is this here. So in order to label that, we just go up to Layouts, we run across to Axis Titles. We need to do both the horizontal and vertical axis tile. So we'll start with a horizontal axis title with the title below the axis and we just type index of difficulty. Clicking enter once we've typed that and we see it appearing up here on our figure below. And now again we go up to our axis titles we go to our vertical axis. Now any one of these options will work but probably a little bit needed to do a rotated title so that means the title's up on its side and we type in movement time and of course remembering whenever appropriate we need to you look at our, add our units in so these would be in milliseconds pressing enter once we're finished so as you can see now we've got a nice clean clean figure there's not a lot of background there's not a lot of you know bright colors or things going on with both our axes nice and clearly labeled